Hello, Christina Resso. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you all are doing well. And happy Thursday to each and every one of you. Don't get, don't forget to like, subscribe to the video, and share it with your friends. Now, I earlier today while I was at work, I received a petition from ACLU about the Supreme Court um, bringing more attacks on Christians from extremists. I won't go into detail. I mean, anyone that, that's anti-Christ is of the devil, okay? So these people, it's not enough that, the, you know, they succeeded with the removal of prayer out of schools, and um, as a result, there's violence against children. There has been violence against children and staff over the last two years. I'm not saying it was, uh, or a few years. Um, not saying it was deserved, but when you want to take God out of something, then he's going to let go. Um, I mean, unless you're his people, even if a believer walks away, the Holy Spirit is still going to be there. He'll turn his face away when you're doing something sinful. However, um, <clears throat> you know, he, he knows when to leave. So since this country has decided to do these things, want to gear toward a secular society, except when September 11 happened, that then God had your attention. Um, it shouldn't have to take tragedy like that for us to stay on our knees. This nation will be a lot prosperous, and God will bless it a lot more. He can show you better than he can than the song you sing at Yankee Games or any other event. Because yeah, uh, I think, uh, yeah, New York, yeah, I, I believe, is the only, um, Yankee Stadium is the only stadium that actually sings God Bless America. So, uh, excuse me. <sighs> yeah, Satan is busy. So I always got to itch, itch my nose every time I talk about, uh, talk about the Lord and his hand um, either on something or, or removes but um, they got this petition about the Supreme Court now I'll sign it uh, I can't promise them any donations but I, I will sign the, the form and um, you know I did the same thing with the anti-abortion no well, but unless this uh, country repents and believe in the gospel in case you don't know what the gospel is uh, you can look at my previous video on the great apostasy by 2017 of how the American church is going to be even less fallen in her sinful state now, don't get me wrong, with the persecutions going on globally in most countries, um, yes, we do in the West, Canada, the U.S., take this country for granted. Don't Some of us do. But we are blessed to have the freedom to go to church, Bible study, prayer meetings without being questions, questioned and arrested, uh, imprisoned, or even murdered for our faith. Now, that does not mean that it won't happen. And if and when it does, or when it does, Jesus is going to use that to separate the wolves from the sheep. Okay, the wolves being the heretics. They talk all kind of Christian genre. But yet, when it comes to the complete gospel, 
sacrifice and going through the cross. <clears throat> I'm not just talking about um, people who slip and say a curse word. I was like, oh, you know, and they question that person's salvation. That's not what I'm talking about. It's like the fruits. Um, or those of you who have a garden. Um, I'll use strawberries as an example. Mm -hmm. Before you're, if you have squirrels, they may get to them first. But <laughs> you have a strawberry, you plant the, the seed, and you don't know the result until it sprouts up. And say, okay, now we got fresh strawberries, tomatoes, anything. And some people will say the fruit of a tree. And a couple of uh, teachers on YouTube that I've um, listened to have given this example. Um, I'm going to use a different type of fruit. It's supposed to be a peach, peach tree, but yet yeah, it's an apple tree. And it's obvious you see peaches, <laughs> you see apples hanging. But well, people insist it's a peach tree. <laughs> okay. That's the type of falsehood and wolf I'm talking about. And sometimes they, they, they can really fool you with the Christian genres. I mean, there have been times I've... One case I reported a lady uh, who was going to become a member. Um, this was uh, when I was still in Chicago. And she found, found out she didn't believe in the deity of Christ. That Jesus is fully God and fully man. So I told one of the elders. And I didn't know this. This was like, what, six months of knowing her. She was in the same evangelist slash missionary class as I was. She said Jesus. She said all the right genres. The gospel so to speak but when she denied that Jesus was God or he is God another uh, example a lady uh, that after work sit in a diner with ran across her after work have lunch or take some lunch to go and then um, after, I, took, I think it took a year, found out she denied the deity. And she said, just like people have a misunderstanding of the gospel and repentance, she said, Jesus is the son of God. But she never wanted to admit that Jesus is God. So I flat out called her a heretic. And when I wanted to show her the proof of Christ's deity, she refused. Now, if she really wanted to know the Lord and wanted to be corrected, she wouldn't have denied what I showed her. But she was all sensitive, like, oh, because of what you call me. I said, okay, well, you didn't want to prove me wrong. It must be true then. I didn't tell her that. I just left the conversation at that. So, of course, uh, well, we, we don't have a relationship because I don't see her anymore. I don't go over there. So, the, yeah, a, a believer can say the right things, or a so-called believer can say the right things. Now, there's a difference between a complete heretic and someone who's deceived. Like, for example... Um, People who preach the gospel, uh, like the, the Lordship Salvation gospel, those people are deceived. I'm not going to question their salvation. Unless they say something heretical, like something against the Trinity or against the Holy Spirit. But they have a, 
misunderstanding of what repentance is and they so they're adding to the gospel and scripture completely tells us not to do that so we can't as believers Give an example tell preach the truth in love without accommodating the world because when you accommodate non-believers as the American church is doing with a lot of these mega churches that I mentioned yesterday, you're going to become more like them. There's a reason why Christ emphasized not to be yoked with non believers. Doesn't mean he does not like them. As I've said before, they pull us away from Christ, which is true. And people who were non-believers that I associated with, I'm glad God removed them. And that goes with some so-called believers too. God removed those people for a reason. Now some, uh, don't get me wrong, at times it hurt. But God's re uh, man's rejection is God's protection. So that's all I have on my heart. Um, I don't know if I'll be on God willing. I may be on tomorrow. Um, whatever the Holy Spirit puts on my heart to talk about. Uh, news, politics, or continuation of um, what's going on in our world. Uh, and followers of and believers of the gospel okay uh, that's all I have and give me one moment to get my Bible I have to close with Jude Tell myself I'm <laughs> all right, it'll work out. I get used to doing this because this is a powerful this is a powerful prayer. Christina Red Soul, pray for our nation, pray for our brothers and sisters and the persecuted church in prison with them. Doxology closed according to the book of Jude. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present your blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy to only God our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time, now and forever. Amen.